As city leaders continue to look at Austin Energy's response to this month's ice storm, some newer Austinites have wondered why there's only one energy provider within the city limits. KBU's Derenisha Heron spoke with a UT expert to explain why. Quita Brian, in the early 2000s, cities and electricity cooperatives got the option to deregulate and allow multiple power providers in one area, so customers can have options. But Austin chose to stay regulated with one public provider, Austin Energy. Now, now not many areas are regulated in Texas. These 16 cities and some very small rural areas don't have a choice in their electricity provider. Austin is the second largest city on this list behind San Antonio. But most Texans have choices. UT Energy expert Michael Weber says there is a lot of tension about which one is better. A deregulated market could give you options for a cheaper rate, but it can also leave you vulnerable to price hikes. And it's supposed to inspire more innovation and this kind of thing. The downside of that is they'll chase a profit and the concern or criticism is they won't invest in the reliability and things like that that you want. And while being regulated doesn't leave room for choice, Weber says those providers are more likely to invest in upgrades and prices are set at a fixed rate. Any changes to Austin energy rates must go through city council and the bills you pay go back into the city, which could pay for other services. But if you look at Austin energy, in fact, we have led the nation on energy efficiency in Austin energy. We have a very clean power mix. And despite everyone's complaints, actually it performs pretty well from a reliability perspective. So it's hard to say that municipal power is doing worse than the other models that are out there. Weber says, in his opinion, the regulated market is working well for Austin and is used across the nation. But if people don't like it, you can always vote in city council members who could advocate for any changes. Brian Quita, 